uh, this time I'm going to be making uh, one of these segmented goblets from two contrasting woods. Um, the darker wood is mahogany and this lighter wood I think is spotted gum, what I've been using in the past two YouTube videos. Um, first thing to make that blank is I just laminate two pieces of mahogany spotted gum together and the blank is 3.5 inches square so each piece, well 3.5 inches that way and then that right there is 1.75 inches thick and same there so when it comes together it's 3.5 inches square and uh, it's <clears throat> 8 inches long uh, the goblet will be six inches long and then two inches at the end is uh, the waist for me to screw into when I put it on the face plate. So first things first, I need to go to the table saw and cut two pieces of wood um, to assemble the blank. Right, here's a uh, tip that's going to save you time on the lathe, getting the piece round. To knock off the uh, corners at 45 degrees, uh, to give you basically an octagon, you need to set your uh, table saw blade to 45 degrees and then rest that piece up on its side and then bring the fence over to where it just kisses this uh, side edge and then when you flip it back down there you can then run the piece through that way on all four edges and that will knock off the corners giving you a nice um, pre-rounded piece to mount on the lathe and it will save you time. Alright so I've uh, I've got this blank matted on the lathe and the corners are knocked off. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just round it, uh, get it trued up with a rough and gouge. I've marked on the piece uh, 6 inches so that I don't go anywhere near those screws that are uh, holding it onto the face plate. Uh, so yeah, now I'm just going to first things first uh, get it trued up. template of the goblet design when I made this one but I've uh, misplaced that and can't find it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, offer that up to the lathe and mark transitions mark the transitions like that start shaping the uh, goblet itself, the uh, cup. Uh, I'm going to do that with a spindle gouge. Right, 
so I've uh, I've roughed out the shape of the cup and next job is to go ahead and hollow that cup out whilst um, I've still got lots of uh, strong stock to support the piece because if I turned that stem really thin now again the goblet's just gonna uh, uh, snap under the stress of trying to hollow it out afterwards so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a gouge to hollow out the inside of the cup. Alright, so that's the inside of the cup hollowed out and I've sanded it really nice and smooth. Next job I'm going to do now is turn my attention to the stem and add in detail to the two half beads underneath the cup there. And I'm also going to stop the camera at and show you how to part off those little captive rings so anyone who doesn't have the proper captive ring tool just has a skew chisel can uh, see how that's done uh, so yeah I'll start the camera when I'm about to do that alright so uh, I've ran the goblet through up into 1600 grit sandpaper um, and now I want to put some polyurethane on the um, outside of the goblet. So what I'm going to do is uh, with a clean, clean rag, I'm just going to remove all of the dust, especially from the inside. And uh, I'm going to use a vacuum on the inside. Okay, so here's the goblet that um, has had its first coat of polyurethane and it's already looking quite glossy. Um, it will be touch dry in 4 hours and then I can recoat it in 16 hours um, and after the second coat just buff it with a clean rag and it will be a glassy finish hopefully. Um, confession time really I snapped both of the rings that I put on there um, no excuses just wasn't really 100% mind on the job so yeah they both snapped but to be honest they were just decoration it's not an essential design uh, piece of the design so the goblet will still function just as well <laughs> um, Although I don't think you'll be wanting to drink anything out of it if I've just gone and put polyurethane on it, but um, it's an, it'll be a nice uh, decorative piece. So after I've given it a second coat, I'll show you the finished goblet. Alright, so uh, that's the finished goblet, and it's had two coats of polyurethane. When they dried, um, whilst it was still running on a lathe, I gave it some natural beeswax and buffed it straight off to a nice. Uh, glossy finish. Uh, the next video I want to make is really um, how to form these little captive rings uh, without the proper captive ring tool just by using a skew chisel. So I think I'll do that um, for my next little video. Um, uh, <laughs> I've really gotten into wood turning. I've only been turning for about a month now but there are just so many techniques and cool things you can do within turning. It's for me, it's really addictive. So I'm gonna carry on making uh, more wood turning videos. And if you wanna watch them, <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. All right, cheers.